All right, let's see if this is a secret road or not. So here's Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. Southwest of Scotts Bluff, there is a scenic viewpoint here. A secret road here, which we just checked out in another video. Now we're going to turn left and see if this is a scenic road. Probably one of those roads where it lets you go 100 feet and then there's a block across the road. What? Two secret roads next to each other? This is crazy. Scotts Bluff, Nebraska is quite the secret keeper. Alright, so that one's blocked off. Light traffic only. Oh my goodness, the Oregon Trail. My truck is set up for logging as well, so hopefully this isn't too heavy of a trail. Oh my goodness. I wonder if anybody does tours on the Oregon Trail where you can actually get in a wagon be a lot safer to do nowadays. There's maps and you know where everything is and you can stop at the convenience store to get your sodas and drinks and food and all that stuff. Just to be out here in a covered wagon riding a horse and pulling your supplies, whatever. Recreate the experience just without the danger of having the fear of being attacked by Indians around every corner. Oh my goodness. Is that a bridge? We'll avoid that one for now. There is an old encampment. Well now I want to go see if that's a real thing on a map. Maybe editing Tom will check it out. Instead of playing old guy gamer. There's wagons everywhere, just discarded. What the heck? This reminds me of like old lumber mill sites, not Oregon Trail. Drive back there? Oh, there is a road that goes over a ravine. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Alright, so there are some logs on the side to stay. Let's hop in the truck and do this. Look, there is... It is supported. It's got beams. I don't think that would be part of the original Oregon Trail, though. Let's, uh... Lower both windows. All right, you cannot see anything. Oh, the echoing of the cave. I want to drive off the edge just to see what it does. Oh, you can hit the barrels. They will displace. Oh, man, those, it is tight. Left wheel's hanging over the edge. Yikes! Alrighty. Give myself a hernia and a heart attack all at the same time. Oh my goodness. I hope this is not just a turnaround where I gotta come back the same way. I'd like to end up somewhere else. Just to cover new ground and head out and get a job done. I don't wanna come back the same way. This is so cool. What the heck? Why would you put piers in the middle of the pond that small? I turn right. There's a guy on a horse over there. 
Alright, there's a farm. Is that thing moving? Yes, it is. Let's take a look at the map. See where we're at. Oh, yeah. It's going to curve around. It's probably going to go here, right? That is a big, long secret road. Well, now I want to see if I can go down there. If that's a secret road, it's a short one. Or it just goes around that field. Oh my goodness. I want to live here. Oh my goodness. This is, if you stayed on the roads just doing jobs, you wouldn't see this. in the back how old do you think a farm like this would be to have all the fields the orchard even a little decor set up on the road as you drive in they got some beehives over there I love this game so much Thank you, developers, for putting stuff like this in a game when you didn't have to. Just hidden little Easter eggs. Nothing exciting back here. Just stuff to go discover. That makes it more interesting than just pulling trailers from point A to point B. Alright, so... Oregon Trail Adventure Road. And that is probably just a closed off road. It doesn't go anywhere, so let's see where this secret road goes to. Completely different part of Scott's Bluff, probably. It's blocked off, thank goodness. Since I drove right by it. I'm gonna pretend to turn left here. So I can look at the map. That is the end of that secret road. My goodness. This little stretch right here with the old Oregon Trail. That is freaking awesome. 